So let's take a quick look at Uniswap here. Um, I just want to mention that I made about, I don't know, five, six or seven videos without sound and I didn't realize it. I don't know how it got turned off on the application I'm using, but I did film a Uniswap video earlier today uh, without sound. And I'm kind of glad that somebody told me I didn't have sound uh, because that gives me a chance to re, uh, re you know, do this little video here. Um, just because we had the FOMC meeting minutes come out and things really got wild. I didn't expect that, you know, we would have such a surge uh, throughout the altcoin space and Bitcoin, um, but it seems like it's pretty bullish for, uh, you know, the market right now. Um, so, yeah, I mean, basically we were trying to break this uh, line earlier here at about $6.54. I think we were just above it. Um, if I remember correctly, I'm not 100% sure. Um, now, this resistance up here where I didn't think we would get um, is it at about $7.06, we'll say. And uh, yeah, to break this weekly resistance up here, it's about $7.20. So we still have about three hours to go uh, in the daily candle as well as, you know, four hour candle um, that closes in about three hours now. Um, the longer the time frame, the candle, and you know, the better. So let's see if we can hold uh, at least this trend line. I don't think we're going to get above this, you know, uh, weekly resistance up here at about $7 and 20 cents. Uh, but you just never know, guys. I mean, it could, you know, maybe it's taking a breather right now um, for a bit. So we'll see. Uh, but yeah, let's take a quick look at Bitcoin. Basically, Bitcoin is trying to break the 61.3 uh, mark, um, you know, currently at 61.0, or 61.1. Um, now it has surged through the 60.2 mark, uh, and that came immediately after the FOMC meeting minutes. So let's see if we can at least hold this. Um, that would be at least you know one win for the day uh but if we can get over this mark you know 61.3 that would be really a, a nice day you know very bullish day so anyways guys yeah after that 61 uh actually sorry 63.1 is the next target as well as 63.8 but i think this area is going to be just a little bit tough to get through because it's only about a 700 dollars you know difference between these two lines so we'll see how Bitcoin reacts when we get there. But right now, these two lines here are the biggest ones for us. So CME, uh, basically, you know, I was looking at January and uh, I'm a little bit surprised. 42% think that we're going to have, you know, 4 to 4.25, um, you know, rate or whatever uh, in January. So and, you know, September, basically, most people still believe in a quarter point cut. Um, you know, I also believe November and December will be quarter point cuts, but, you know, basically if we go to January and we see this, that means basically we got to have a half point cut along the way. Um, I don't think it's going to happen. Maybe we are here in January, but I think they're going to wait and see, uh, how these three cuts affect the market. And basically I think they're probably more likely to skip in January. And, um, you know, we'll see maybe in March, maybe they'll cut another quarter. Um, but yeah, I just don't think it's going to be so fast, you know. Uh, anyways, a little bit surprised, you know, the majority believe this. Now, economics, uh, like I said, meeting minutes came out today, but tomorrow Jackson Hole begins. Uh, we do have jobless claims, of course. Uh, S&P manufacturing PMI, composite PMI, services PMI, you got existing home sales. Um, and Friday, Jackson Hole continues, building permits, I don't think that's so important though. Uh, new home sales also probably not so important for Bitcoin. Um, but the Fed Chair Powell is speaking, but I don't expect he's going to, you know, show his cards to everybody in the world, of course. Um, I think it's going to be a general speech. Um, just like the ECB's Lane, who she's, I think she's speaking at Jackson Hole as well on Saturday. It's going to be a general speech, guys. She's not going to give away also what the ECB is doing. 
Um, so don't get your hopes up uh, that they're going to really affect the market. Um, I would be very shocked if they, you know, show their cards basically before they play them. Um, anyways, guys, that's pretty much what I got for you on Uniswap right now. Uh, Uniswap looking better. Let's just hold it. Yeah, let's just hope it can hold this trend line here. Um, basically, if it closes a daily above about a 705 mark, then, you know, we can look for probably continuation here. Uh, anyways, if you like this video, like, subscribe, activate the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.